okay now that we have our introductory animation playing this slides up just like this what we can do is we will make a movie so we'll hit control enter on our keyboard or control test movie in flash professional or control test movie test that's what I'm used to doing control enter on the keyboard and it makes a flash movie and you see that thing pops up there is one problem though one glaring problem and that is flash movies loop by default so this slide up interface is just looping over and over again so we have to learn to control our um, timeline using scripting using action script 3 so what we'll do is we'll make another layer here and we'll call it actions right and that's where we'll put our action script um, with action script 3 all the actions go on the timeline which is pretty nice so we'll just go over here and we'll insert a keyframe okay and now we've got a keyframe there that's great and now we need an actions window so we go window actions or F9 on the keyboard and I have mine um, popping up separately from the interface which then I can drag around and I can double click to open it and close it if I need it and all we're gonna do is put stop the word stop with an open and close parentheses and then a semicolon and now if we hit control enter we'll see that the interface animates up into place and then comes to a close right and now we can we can also um, n we might need a little more room at the top here um, what we'll do is before we check that let's check it out in our browser so we'll open up our browser and here it is my website this is my local site right and I'll just hit refresh and you can see here that we have a little more room here at the top than we could have seen we saw in our Swift file in our flash movie so that's plenty of room and so then we'll put our text here and and that's looking okay now we want our logo to come animating in to uh, view so on my other site as you can see um, on my other site the logo comes in from the side here and then stops in place and there's also easing so it slows down as it animates in place and then comes to a stop right here notice here that I also have a frame label here that says home why don't we make that on our uh, site too so I'm gonna make another layer here I'll put this one at the top and I'm going to name this layer labels and I will come over here and insert a keyframe and I'm gonna put a frame label on here so to do that you select the frame you go over here to the property window label and type in home you're gonna be needing that later now you should see a little red flag there if you were to make some extra frames in your movie let's say like come out here and go insert frame even though we put the extra frames it won't matter because we have a stop action right here stopping the playhead also now you can see the red flag and the word home I will um, out of convention I like to put the labels beneath the actions so I'll drag that down one so that the actions on top and then the labels are underneath uh, that's just the way I like to do things no big deal okay for an animated logo if you had a logo this is the time you'd want to use it but I don't have a logo so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type some text and then animate it in on the side so as this thing animates in we'll say part way gets to here maybe we'll start the logo okay so um, I'm gonna need another layer for my logo each animated object needs its own layer to perform on so now that I have now that I want my logo or my name to slide into place let's say the name of your website whatever we're gonna have to make a new layer so I'll make a new layer notice I had this layer selected when I clicked new layer so the new layer goes right here and I'll type this layer logo or name it logo rather and so that's where the logo is going to go now what I might want to have happen is the logo to start animating in after this slides up possibly and if I did want to do that that would pose some interesting problems so let's do that so we'll say that the logo will start animating in once this has stopped that means it will start here so I'm going to insert a keyframe right there right also what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the home frame and the stop action to where I want the logo to stop so I'm going to move the home frame over to let's say 40 right and then I'll take this actions frame and drag that over to 40 
So now the playhead is going to stop here, right? So we want the logo to move. Well, that means we're going to have to add frames here. So I'm going to go right here, insert frame, right click, insert frame. So now those elements stay on screen all the way over here to 55. And then this guy right here, the transparent white um, background, I'm going to do something interesting here. I'm going to copy this piece right here. So this, this movie clip that is the transparent logo, I'm going to copy it. So edit, copy. Remember, this is in the way. So that was edit, copy. And then what I'm going to do is right here, I'm going to insert a blank keyframe, right? So that stands apart from the motion tween, all right? And then I will paste, edit, paste in place, and that paste in place the, um, the transparent piece right there. So notice this is blue, this is the motion tween, and then this is just another um, frame where this movie clip exists. And now I can go here and say insert frame. So now that's quite nice. So this animates up into place and then just the movie clip takes over ending the motion tween here. So now we need the logo to move in place. Well that's going to be fairly easy. All I'm going to do is let's say on this new layer I'll just, since I don't have a logo right now, I'll get some text and I'll type my name danscourses.com let's say I'll highlight it. Oh, I am going to need that property window. I'm going to make it bigger. Uh, 28. Hit enter. Make it 36. Hit enter. I'm going to need the color to, let's say, be black. And I'm going to want that to be solid black, not alpha. Okay. And so now I have some text here. All right. Um, I'm working on this logo area, and I don't want to deal with this accidentally, so I'm going to lock it, lock this other layer. So now I'm just dealing with the logo layer, and on um, these layers are locked. So this logo is a, a little bit um, small, so I'll make it bigger. There we go, 49 points. Maybe just make it 48 for an even number right and that looks pretty good and I want to motion tween this into place so um, this becomes an interesting topic I'm gonna drag it off screen okay and I can motion tween this into place see if I could go insert uh, motion tween and, but I do want it to be a movie clip. Now, if I motion tween it, will it automatically turn it into a movie clip? Let's check. Insert motion tween, right? And now if we select it, it's still text, right? So just converting it to a motion tween does not necessarily turn it into a movie clip. I will actually have more control over it if it's a movie clip. So I'm going to undo that. Edit, undo, right? Edit undo for multiple undos. I'm going to keep undoing until I get rid of that motion tween. Okay, edit, undo. Alright, so there it is. The motion tween's gone now. And I want this motion tween to end right here. So I'm going to put in a keyframe here. Okay, keyframe there. So now I'm going to select this piece of text and Modify, convert to symbol, and make it a movie clip. Call it MC-Logo. Click OK, and now it's a movie clip. Now all I have to do, now I can select this and say Insert Motion Tween. I drag the playhead over to the end of the motion tween, grab the, the text, and drag it across. I hold down the shift key so it stays level, right? And you can see there's the motion guide. I also want to add on to it easing. So I'm going to select the motion tween and change the easing to 100. 
which will slow it down so as it animates into place it slows down right and you'll see that it ends in place right here but then on the next frame it's off screen so what I need to do is I'm gonna delete this one and then at the end of the frame I will select this edit copy select the blank keyframe edit paste in place and so now this animates into place we hit control enter and when that slides up and then the other piece slides in place of course you can't see it a little bit the swifts off screen so what we do is we'll go to our HTML version of the site and hit refresh and you'll see that that'll slide into place it's a little bit big, but that's okay. It's your logo, so you need it to be seen. Maybe I could always make it a little bit smaller. 